Dear you, this happened to me on my train back to Toronto from Niagara Falls. I had walked all day long and I was tired. I closed my eyes, leaning on something. You know this experience when you are half awake and half asleep, and then somehow half unconscious and half conscious, you start to think, or rather, something is happening in your mind, and you can somewhat observe those uncontrolled thoughts flowing around in your mind, and then suddenly. I had this thought about death, the sudden realization that one day I will die and no longer exist in this world. The truth is, I think about death almost every day, but this time it was different. I used to feel this indescribable pleasure in the idea of vanishing into the universe, the idea that no more struggles, no more pain, no rent, no work. No moral judgments from people, but this time, for some reason, I had a very new experience. Perhaps it was the first time in my life that I felt something sort of fear in death. How I used to make fun of people who are scared of death in my mind. I wonder why. Up until then, I had experienced fear of death. Anyway, from this moment on, things have changed. And then, I was in Paris. If there were only three years of my left to live, with the remaining time, I would have closed my eyes in peace. Knowing that I had lived in Paris before my death, Paris is like a girl that I'm in love with. She's beautiful, attractive, intelligent, and sophisticated, fun to be around, artistically enlightened, a great lover. At the same time, with a strong personality and expensive habit, who isn't the best cook in the world for my kind of people. And not the most hygienic person in the world. Most importantly, I love her, and she doesn't seem to love me. Here, I have a question. When we are in love with someone, does it matter if they love us back? When we are truly and utterly in love, does it matter? Or, in order to continue to love? Do we need to be loved back when we are in love? What more do I need? I'm in love. I mean, I'm in Paris. Dying in the arms of your love. That's a very good way to die, isn't it? What do you think? It is only human and normal. That we want to be loved back, it's understandable. But if love must be repaid, can we really call it love? Isn't it some sort of exchange instead? A philosopher once told me that this sense of exchange mindset is the logic of capitalism, an authentic maternal love does not seek love in return. From her children. When you love your dog, you feed her, you clothe her, you take care of her. You don't expect her to do something in return, cleaning the house, do grocery shopping for you, and so on. A change in understanding of death has renewed my whole perspective of death and life. Then. This realization that seeking love in return is not authentic love, from this perspective, have I ever loved? I do not like how people speak of love so lightly and so easily. If 
an unexamined life is not worth living. Can I also say that an unexamined love is not worth loving? It feels nice to write again. I think I have a better understanding of writing, and my writing has improved a little bit. Hope you are doing well. Take care. Till next time. Yours, S.